Divine Truth Information Jesus and Mary provide information to people and organizations who inquire about Divine Truth teachings. The title of this presentation is March 2018 Announcements, News and Information, where Jesus and Mary discuss what has been happening in their life over the past 18 months, why it is that they have not done many live presentations during the period, and provide news about the future plans, new assistance groups, the Divine Truth Organization, and the God's Way Organization. The session was recorded on the 20th of March 2018 from 3.20 p.m. in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. Well, good day, everyone. Uh, Jesus and I thought that we would take a moment today, a few minutes, just to give everyone a little bit of an update on what we've been up to. We were kind of quiet on YouTube for about a year, <laughs> uh, but we weren't quiet here at home. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we know that uh, many of you watching probably don't hear too much about our, uh, the rest of what goes on in our life. You just see what happens on YouTube. So um, for those of you who are interested, uh, you don't need to be, but if you are, <laughs> um, I do write a semi-regular update on what we have been doing uh, on a blog that we have. And the address for the blog is uh, mary.divinetruth.com. So y y you can hear from us there if you want to. But we thought we'd just take a bit of time today to just, uh, especially to give our thanks to those of you who do donate to us. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we'd like to start with, I think, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you know, without your donations and, and, it, and what's been very uh, encouraging to see is that many of you still have, con during the quiet period where we weren't outputting anything, many of you still continue to donate to us. And, and we'd like to thank you very much for that because obviously that helped us live. But, but also it helped us get done a lot of things that had been behind the scenes um, waiting to get done for the previous three years <laughs> that that we're eventually building up into this quite a large job of things to get done and yeah. and so that helped us start getting done some of these essential things for uh our future growth yes. uh, and and that included things like systems and ordering and, and a number of other things that where everything was getting seven or eight years old and we had to do a lot of adjustments and so forth and we also made you, well, you especially made some adjustments to how the production process happens. So the making of videos and how we do that together yes. and the, how the editing process goes, like so many there, procedures. And there was a lot of reasons why that had to happen because, yeah. uh, because what was happening before is we had to wait sometimes for three or four years for our document uh, production, the transcription team. To, to get data together before we could make clips. Yeah. And now we've got a system. I uh, worked with, with Kate, uh, uh, who's programming for us, Kate mm -hmm. Eckersall, and, and I worked with Lena uh, as well, yes. and then with Eloisa yes. as well. And we worked uh, together with Barb yep. uh, on the transcription team, coming up with a system where now we have the capacity, and we haven't uh, fully finished the trials yet, mm -hmm. but we have the capacity now to generate clips of our of our videos yeah. at the time we do our videos. And that's incredible. And also to do it yeah. so that it's all done by a machine. Yeah. So so this means that instead of doing it by hand, and people have had to do it by hand, and it takes a long time, as yes. those people know. Yeah. We had Maureen in the, in the, in the United, United States, States helping us with that. And it took ages to do that. Yeah. And we only got five or 600 clips done in years, you know. Yeah. Now we'll be able to get five or 600 clips done every month or yeah. more. Uh, with all the data that we've got. And and so that meant reverse engineering many of our outlines and reverse yeah. engineering many of our transcriptions to put time codes in back in them yeah. and and getting them so that they can are uh, clip clippable, I suppose yeah. you could call it. And yeah. the, that generates our clipping scripts. And so there there was a, a, a lot of behind the scenes changes yes. that had to be engaged yeah. to do all of that and a lot of training. Um, uh, yeah. So the poor pe every every person in every little area of interest had a lot, a uh, fairly large learning curve during that phase, which was yes. from around, uh, I think it was the last videos we got out after the assistance groups come out about January or so. And in from 2017. In 2017. And from January through to July, basically that was our 
focus. Focus. Uh, and getting all that work done. And without uh, uh, your donations, yeah. all, we, we wouldn't have been able to do all of that work, which is all essential work to streamline our operations. Yeah. Mm. And um, we really value the idea of getting more clips done from the work that we do because we know that people are busy. We know that sometimes we sit down and, well, Today. twice a week we sit down and talk for four hours at a go and usually that turns into, you know, a couple of big lectures or big Q&A sessions and a lot of people don't have the time to dedicate to that. No. Um, although it should be said that if you want to listen to those, it's just as audios alone, you can load them on, a, you know, an audio listening device and listen to them mm. uh, like you would a podcast or something. That's all available on the website. Mm. But, you know, a lot of people don't have time for that and they like to see us interact or hear, see you while you're explaining things. And so having the clips means that people can watch something that's 10 minutes long, 5 minutes long, 20 minutes long, and it's it's much more manageable. Uh, that's that's our desire anyway. Yeah, mind you, a few of the clips are an hour long because <laughs> uh, we couldn't find a way to break them without losing their content. But yeah. but most of the time, yeah, yeah. They're, low, they're like 5 to 15 minutes or, yeah. uh, at the most, so that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah. And in the end, we will be producing uh, audios for all of those clips as well. Yeah. And we also will be putting them so that people can look at a summary of all of the topics discussed uh, on our website as well as yeah. on YouTube and, yeah. and other mediums as well. Because we're now also, part of the thing I was got ready, ready last year was starting to get a lot of our data on Vimeo, which yes. is another which is another serving, uh, you uh, know, uh, video serving. serving site, video so, serving yeah. site. Yeah, and, and you'll probably notice, those of you who've watched some of our more recent videos, we've also been, uh, part of that process meant that we had to re-engineer even how we do our outlines and our prep for the discussions. So you'll notice that we started to use a little bit of a different format where I started to sort of say blanket statements and then we talk about it and that's to enable the clips. We're getting, I'm getting a bit more relaxed with that process. So hopefully it's a little bit more seamless when you watch the whole thing. But that's all just, it's all just been things yeah. we're developing and Yeah, uh, and not everything's going to be with. like that, but, no. but we, there are certain discussions that we feel it's very important to put concise information yeah. out there. And while it might not be small concise, it's concise. <laughs> and, and, you know, obviously um, having an outline that matches our discussion is going to be simpler for people to look at what we discussed. Yeah. It's also going to help people before they watch a video, if they just look at the outline and go, oh, that's what was discussed. So they know yeah. whether that uh, video is going to interest them or not. Yeah. And, um, and so, a, sorry, go ahead. And as a result of that, th there is also the beautiful thing that is a subsequent result of that, and that is that we have all these ways of searching different mm. things about divine truth as well that are now uh, on the internet. So, mm. so that's going to simplify people's searching of the material. And also now, because of all of these changes, there are time codes listed in our description of the video yeah. as to when specific subjects got started and so forth. So there's a whole lot of improvements that were made yeah. and it's taken us a long time, uh, mm. up until September of uh, 2017, so it was nine months yeah. of our work went into doing that. And um, if we hadn't have done that, it would have made things, every new thing we discussed yeah. would have now had to be re-engineered at some point in the future. Yeah. So it was getting to the point, we've already got a thousand videos to yeah. re-engineer in some way, you know, or a thousand yeah. outlines to re-engineer. You know, we were thinking, oh, by the end of this, you know, yeah. two years time, there's going to be 2000 and so forth. And then it's just going to become a nightmare. So at some point we had to bite this re-engineer with everything <laughs> off. And just sort of pause while you got the processes in place so that anything new we made didn't have to be uh, re-looked re at. Re-looked at later. Because yeah. uh, going uh, for us, you and I, going back over things to do things again is, a ve is very difficult to do. We have, a, you know, we just have a flowing discussion and to go back over it again is very hard. And so we want to get it right the first time and then just leave yeah. it and move on. And that's our goal. So, so um, for people who just watch us on YouTube, perhaps um, you could give a little bit of a description if people do want to access the things like the outlines you mentioned and the audio files, that can all be done on our website. Yes, yeah. and, and we are in the process of improving that too, but yeah. that won't be for another year probably. We had to do all of this groundwork first. Yeah. Uh, but we're in a pro in, at the moment on our website, you can download every outline related to a talk. 
-hmm. You can download uh, every transcript in the end. If and and you know transcripts usually are delayed though because it takes many months and sometimes years to get the transcripts People out. People physically type them. Yeah, yeah it's very hard, uh, hard work, and it's mm -hmm. often uh, not very rewarding yeah. uh, work for those people. Aside from the fact that they get to see hear the information again. And so we'd also like to thank all of you transcribers Absolutely. because without that, you know, people wouldn't be able to read those things. But Mary and I produce all the outlines yes. now. Uh, so we, instead of reverse engineering outlines, which will be done about all the old stuff, yeah. uh, all the new things that we do, we finish up doing most of the outlines and yeah. we have a fair, fairly big part well, to play in all that. Well, we do all of we it. We do all of it, yeah. pretty much. And aside from the fact with things like mediumships, when yeah. we do outlines now, they are reverse engineered. We've That's got, right. what, what happens is we've got Eloisa, which you can see our, our little team out the back there, if you just show the video girls, <laughs> that's it. So Eloisa, you notice, and Corny are both sitting next to each other there. And they are both typing up a summary of what we're saying to you. And, and if we have, don't have an outline, so we don't even have an outline for this particular no. thing we're doing, they, through their typing, help me produce my outline. So yeah. isn't that wonderful? <laughs> so thanks. So, yeah, so guys. The, um, we now create these sort of detailed outlines because it used to be we just sit down in the chair and have a good old chat. Um, but obviously for Which clipping... Which is easier for us, it's obviously. It's much easier. <laughs> um, but it meant for clipping, you know, for someone who wants to go and do a clip, because obviously sometimes we'd really loop around and talk about all kinds of different things in one and people were saying that's how clips got invented because we were saying well you talked about that in one talk back then when was that i'd just like to see that bit again and so people mm -hmm. were starting to make clips like maureen started that really on mm -hmm. her own mm -hmm. um so now we've become more structured and we create a, a very sort of detailed outline you and i in the weeks prior to when we sit down we go back and forth in the creation process editing and re-adding and changing and stuff mm. uh, and then um, just so it's very clear and succinct and follows a, a logical format then we're able to create um, a, some notes if you like from the major headings in mm. those outlines aren't we mm. and we give them we there's a whole other process a technical process whereby Eloisa out there gets a, a list of headings if you like that she can hit at the time and that's how we get the times of it all in yes that's yeah. how that creates <laughs> chapters for the video that Lena will edit so when we hit the heading in the in our discussion which corresponds with a heading in the outline she hits a, a button it's marked so we know th the moment we started talking about that thing it can become a new chapter it can become a, the start of a clip so mm. it, it's quite an involved process that you guys went through and i've yes. oversimplified it there yeah. but you know just yeah, so people it's an involved an process but in the end it's going to make mean that we can generate clips at the same time as we mm -hmm. generate videos uh, rather than waiting almost a year or even longer yeah. in some cases we've not got clips for five or six years ago yeah. videos and nowadays uh, we can produce clips at the same time we can produce our videos. With, like I said, it's still not up and up on YouTube yet. No. And, uh, and uh, there are a few little things uh, to do with YouTube that we need to f sort out to make it work properly on YouTube. But, but it is working good and, mm -hmm. uh, and we can generate clips at the push of a, of a script, yeah. uh, uh, really a computer process, yeah. uh, which means that there is no longer any personal involvement by any person mm -hmm. to create the clips aside from our original uh, outline yeah. and this means that our original outline determines the clips yeah. and so that's also good because we can make sure that there's not missing information in the clips and so forth. Yeah. So it is, it has been a long time and without our, our brothers and sisters donating yeah. uh, during the time when we weren't outputting, yeah. we wouldn't have been able to do all of that work, you yeah. know, so, so it's wonderful that we could do some of that work we still got more of it to do yes. uh, and so we will have periods of time where we might have a month or a couple of months break where we d need to do the next phase um, but I don't know if we'll have as long a break as no. we have had before uh, in order to get a lot of that work done. Yeah. But mm. thank you again very much for your donations we mm. truly appreciate it and it's just uh, 
I feel blessed all the time that we get to do something that we absolutely love. Mm. And I really appreciate that you appreciate what we do because yeah. uh, it helps us do what we love, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Yeah. And uh, also now we're at actually uh, sharing donations with a lot of people yes. uh, as well, which means that uh, some of the pe people can who are on the team are now able to get some funds from our donations. And what that enables them to do is to is to give us more time yeah. of their time rather than having to go off to work or whatever else so that's really good too yeah. and so that's meant now that i've got it's like a, a pro, programmer helper you yeah. know and and we've got helper with with like as a, like eloise there cutting yeah. cutting the notes up so lena's got a helper there you know and and so the all these sort of helpers help us to get jobs done that yeah. uh, we otherwise wouldn't be able to do. Yeah, mm. and we really appreciate those guys as well, everyone mm. who helps us out, so mm. thank you guys. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the next thing we were going to talk about is our assistance group series. So we started in... Yeah, people are probably wondering what's happening with them. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> because we started out this series, the um, Education in Love series in 2016. 16? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you basically presented three in a year, didn't you? Yeah, it was um, exhausting for yeah. me um, it's, it, because the, the prep involved was yeah. longer than, uh, much longer than yeah. the actual material, the delivery. Yeah. And the delivery was also quite exhausting because yeah. you're talking for an entire seven days straight, pretty yeah. much all day, seven days. Yeah. Um, and then you, do that you have twice. a week's break and you do it again. Yeah. And so it's like some pretty intense seminars type yeah. of thing. And you're getting a lot of emotions and whatever from everybody <laughs> at the same time, from spirits and people. Yeah. So it is quite difficult. And particularly by the third one, when people were more struggling with the information content, yeah. um, you know, it was getting quite difficult to prevent, present them. Yeah. And so um, I had to have a break during, during yeah. 2017 for a lot of reasons, yeah. which one of which we've just previously explained, was <laughs> yes. just sorting out all of our unsorted... Uh, yeah prior bad decisions <laughs> yeah. well, like. no, I, I think it well, not bad decisions, but, because um, you didn't have also there wasn't volunteers. a team there's there no was. team to, to help so i had to do stuff. it all yeah. and, and or a lot of it and yeah. and and now you know with the team you've got to get your processes right so that was all necessary yeah so but, so even though you were supposed to be having a break in 2017 you yeah, actually I had no break. Your, oh, yeah, yeah. Of, of, yeah obviously yeah um but but uh, you know, but that meant that the three or four months that has to be dedicated towards the, the preparing, preparing the material because yeah. we do PowerPoint presentations plus the outlines and very extensive outlines that we create for those. And there's yeah. technical prep too. We have yeah. to buy drives and we have to do a number of things. Yeah. For and machines. we have to move our entire setup. 300 from kilometers from the studio into a new venue and set all of that up so we have to think about a lot of logistical things before we even leave yes. in the months ahead because you can't just nick down home and grab the thing you forgot and, and you need to make sure all of your equipment is in really good functioning order and and all of our technology is quite specialized you can't just buy it off the shelf no. it takes yeah. months usually yeah. usually up to six months to order so yeah. um you know that you've got to yeah. think well in advance to get yeah. things done so so you know obviously um that's meant that 2017 no one had the groups like we originally yeah. intended and uh, we're in 2018 now and uh, and at this stage it's looking like it's probably not going to be one in 2018 <laughs> either <laughs> and and mostly that there's a number of reasons for that yeah. firstly it's going to take three months for the, the next two groups i need to prepare together yes. because the two uh, groups are joint there's and understanding sin and its causes and removing sin, sin and its causes. And they're very much related to each other yeah. and material, some material, uh, uh, we're sort of developing all the material for the two groups um, together yeah. because some of the material needs to be in the second group and other material needs to be in the first group, but it needs to join. It needs yeah. to be a contiguous uh, sort of presentation. Yeah. And as a result of that, it's probably going to take four months or more to develop yeah. it. Yeah. And, uh, and so this is the other problem we have. We, we're trying to give you guys a, a continuous stream of information. Mm. Uh, some of it new, some of it, uh, you know, pres presentation of other material. Yeah. And um, as well as make it interesting, yeah. um, but at the same time, develop material that is more for like a like an assistance group where where people are being assistant for six or seven days because, because also um you know one of the things i love about the assistance groups even though it's quite taxing there is that um 
opportunity for people to come and hear in person. You know, we used to sort of have weekend seminars and things and the various things changed that made that not feasible. And, and people got a bit over overloaded, really, with information. Yes, that's so, what we found. Yeah, mm. they, they didn't feel as receptive anymore. And we also found that the questions coming from the audiences uh, stayed in the same uh, mundane sort of questioning state yes. rather than there being deeper questions yeah. and more succinct questions. Yeah. Um, that, and that unfortunately uh, ha meant that I had to respond to those particular questions, which meant that the material that we wanted to deliver on the subject couldn't be delivered. It's almost like a limit. You know, everyone wanted to stay in a certain place on a certain topic. Yeah, so there, there is a lot of material now, uh, you know, that had been delivered over the past 10 years that I feel is incomplete yeah. as a result of that. And, and I didn't want to continue uh, presenting incomplete information, mm. uh, only to have to revisit that information down the track yeah. and, and provide more explanation. And so, so there are reasons why we've done it. We still might do seminars and we still might do question and answer seminars and probably will do question and yeah. answer seminars in the future. But um, the other problem is that unless we've got a good cohesive team of people to help us, yeah. there's so much equipment now to move and, and you need people who understand video switching and, and so forth. And as people might know, like Igor has left us for a while and yeah. he's off doing his thing. And, and that meant that we had left people uh, available. Mm -hmm. And so now, you know, obviously, you know, we've got to also consider the resources at our fingertips to do things like this. Yeah. And, uh, and so that has all had an impact on what we are able to do publicly yeah. rather than just in our studio. That's right. So, so our focus in the studio mm. is, is very much on being thorough. Uh, and, uh, like we're up to session 13 on a discussion of forgiveness and repentance. You know, we're trying to be very thorough yeah. to give people a really good understanding. But it's also why we decided that when we did public things, we try and take people on a bit of a step-by-step -step progression, which is why the series was developed, wasn't it? Yes. We thought, okay, let's start where people are at help them see the what needs to be done in that area, take them on this step by step. And you did find, didn't you, by the end of 2016, uh, I mean, I know I was at that group, um, both those groups, people were feeling pretty overwhelmed by then. People who'd been to the three groups were sort of like, yeah. you know, we, we felt almost that like we hadn't given them enough time to deal with what had been presented in the previous two. Yes, and, and, I, and by nature the group was quite complex because we wanted to continue put all the group material together in one spot. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's a very rudimentary discussion of every of subject. Of God's laws. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, go ahead for yeah. all of them. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, for all of them, but, but for God's laws in particular, very uh, rudimentary discussion of the subject. But already it was overwhelming our mm -hmm. audience, and frequently most of our audience wasn't even there <laughs> emotionally. Yeah, checked out. <laughs> they, they, you, could <laughs> yeah. see, you could see them frequently checking out. Yeah. So, um, you know, obviously many of you have to watch it in yeah. order to benefit from it. But... Um, so that, that's also uh, obviously something that I had to bear in mind too, that, that our audience isn't read, wasn't ready yeah. in 2017 for our next discussions. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that people, uh, in a way, were it's like some people were hanging in there because they, you know, they they wanted they, to be they, there. They but... wanted to be there. They value <laughs> yeah. what was happening, but it, it was just a lot. Uh, and I know for myself, you know, um, I wasn't at the first two and. You know, I've rewatched them a couple of times and there's just so much. And I mean, I live with you, you know, like, and there's st if you really take on those groups and it's beautiful the way they've been designed because you have an hour long presentation. Um, you can watch both hours from both groups and then watch the Q&A from, you know, there's four hours. You can do that in a week and there's a, a whole lot you can you can go into that very deeply that one kind of lesson mm. um and it, the whole each of the groups is set out like that so there's like hour chunks of, of certain topics that are you know they that's really manageable and it's quite powerful if you don't try and do it all at once if you just do it step by step because you really have to sit with the, the meaning. Well, that's the thing is the groups are not really conducive to you really gelling with the information. Uh, whereas if you watch them privately, yeah. uh, you've got the opportunity to feel, to gel with the information and so forth. So, Mind you, I think there's a certain power in coming and sitting in the room and hearing you deliver it, babe. True, but, but what I find is that you, people get to a point of saturation yeah. 
and after that point, and usually a lot of people get to that point two hours in a, into a four hour discussion. So imagine having a six, uh, a six 32 day. hour, yeah, six yeah. day yeah. discussion yeah. on a subject for most people after the first yeah. day or so, they, they are already zoning out quite frequently. And, and many of you would have noticed that if you attended the groups and you rewatch, you go, well, was I there? I was there and I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all, we have comments from people frequently about yeah. that. So, so obviously you, one of the benefits of recording it like we're recording it is that you get to do it again. Yeah. And, that, and we feel that's a necess necessary part because most people do not get the information while yeah. we're there. So, so that all being said, yes. the AGs, uh, we still are continuing with them. Yeah. Um, we're thinking at this stage though, that it's going to take us four months uh, plus to develop the next two. And uh, we and haven't, we've only just begun that process, yeah. Mary and I have only just begun that process. So uh, we've got a basic skeleton outline and some, a bit of the content. Also, they are probably going to be the two most confronting yes. uh, of the groups. We're talking about sin, yeah. you know. So it's a subject that most people in the world don't want to know about and uh, obviously don't understand very well. Yeah. Um, and also engage in frequently. <laughs> so um, it's going to be, uh, they're going to be quite confronting groups. Yeah. We're probably going to design them so there's less contact hours yeah. so that people have a bit more time to assimilate the information while they're present. Um, but that all being said, we thought the best thing to do would to, is to do one at the start of a year yeah. and one at the end of a year. So what we're targeting yeah. is 2019, the start of the year, it will be February, March, uh, we'll do the first two. Yeah. And then near November, the end of that year, 2019, we'll do the second yeah. two. We'll do the removing. The, the we'll do the removing yeah. sin and its causes. So the first two will be understanding sin and the causes, its causes and the second two will be removing sin and its causes. Yeah. And as you said, we'll, we'll try to tailor the information so that it's not utterly overwhelming, just that we, there's some key concepts we've identified as in there that we really want people to take to heart. I mean, the, the concept of sin uh, or the, the truth about sin is, is simple in a way, isn't it? You mm. know, and mm. uh, we just want to help people to understand that mm. uh, and, and see the benefit of, uh, of understanding sin, really. But it's also very important that people who attend these particular groups have watched all previous three. It's essential. It's essential because, because actually the, the two groups we're developing base all their information on the prior three. That's right. So without the prior three, you're going to probably struggle to join the dots together with, yeah. with the fourth and fifth. So, so with regards to that, given what you've just said, just some information for people who've already registered, because I looked at our registrations um, just recently, and I know there's a lot of you. So um, basically for people who don't know, you are able to register to attend. We do take registrations. There's no charge for attendance, but um, we need to be able, it's a, a limited size in the venue. and We need to be able to manage how many people come. Um, so that people don't come and get turned away, uh, basically. Uh, but at the moment, both groups are fully booked, but... Um, with the change of date. We're changing the date. <laughs> that might not be true so, so, yeah, so the understanding sin and its causes is at the moment scheduled for November 2017. It's actually going to be held in February, March to... Sorry, November 2018. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's actually going to be held in February, March 2019. Yeah. So um, I'll be sending out emails to people who are already registered and already on the waiting list uh, to basically um, inform you all about it uh, and let you know how we're going to manage everything and do some dates reshuffling. I understand some people might have to then withdraw, which is totally fine. I know other people might then want to come, which is also totally fine. We'll just have to try and accommodate you. Uh, but I'll, I'll manage that on Eventbrite, which is the bookings um, site that we use to help with those things. Yeah. Yes, and we're going to try and squeeze 80 people into the venue. Yeah. Uh, it's a small venue. We were hoping to build our own venue, to yeah. be honest. That's one reason why it was delayed, yeah. because we were hoping to build our own venue. And it still might happen yet. We don't know. Uh, because some of our builds might get done fairly quickly. So so there might be a shift in venue in the end. But, but Maybe by the end of 2019. Maybe by yeah. the end of 2019, yeah. most probably. Uh, so yeah. the next two will probably be held at the same venue be, we've been using. Uh, as yet, we're yet to negotiate <laughs> that with them, of course. So we have to keep yeah. you informed. But 
um, the in 2020 we hope to have our own venue, yeah, um, which will um, hopefully we'll be able to use um, to to develop all of our future presentations. Yeah. Which and that probably leads us to our next topic. Of well, before we go there, though, yeah. I was just saying about the groups and the assistance groups. Um, obviously, there's a heavy workload of preparation on our part, and we don't want to sort of stop uh, producing other material while we're producing it. In addition to that, we're also producing now a series of, we've just we've started developing and we'll be doing over the next four months, a series of Q&A about the three first groups. Yes. So I think it's important that we talk very about important. them. Very important. Because, uh, because that Q&A will help people yeah. understand what we're going to be covering, uh, get ready for what we're going to be covering in the next year. Yeah, so what, so what we'd like people to do before they attend any future assistance groups is to watch every group that has been presented in the Education in Love series prior to that point. Mm -hmm. And then in the next four months, you and I, I'll sit down, I'm developing some questions based on, so during the groups, there was material presented by Jesus and then there was a Q&A from the audience at the time. What I've done, what we've done is opened that up now to anyone who's viewed it on YouTube is welcome to uh, submit questions to us in our FAQ account uh, and, and reference the talk that the question is about. And can um, I just say that's FAQ at, at divinetruth.com. Yep. Thank you. And if you are uh, presenting a question about a previous assistance group, please put in your subject line the name of the assistance group and, and also in the body of your email the actual name of the talk that your question arises from. So there's names of assistance groups and there's individual talks within that group. So we, if we can have both of those details, that makes our job really easy. Mm -hmm. And it means your question is likely, more likely to be answered. <laughs> yeah. If we just receive a random question, it's not as likely, you know, we have to then interpret what you're talking about. So, mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be putting together a list of questions for mm. each session mm. in each assistance group to, to talk about you and I here in the studio. So mm. if people coming to the Understanding Sin and Its Causes group can have watched the first three groups, uh, both sessions of them, as well as the Q&As, they're going to be well primed mm. to receive the information we talk about there. Yes, and a lot of these Q&As cover some information that we didn't actually cover in the group. So exactly. as you know, yeah. uh, there were times when uh, the flow got a bit interrupted yeah. even during the groups. And, and so we, there, are, there is information that we sort of explain in more detail uh, yeah. during these questions that we're formulating now. And, uh, and hopefully that will help people with their understanding yeah. a bit better of the three groups. Yeah. And, uh, and hopefully that's all in preparation for people who want to do the next part yeah. of the series, which yeah. is the important part actually, <laughs> which is about <laughs> removing our, our sins so that we can connect with God and, and live by God's laws. So, yeah. Mm. yeah, and become happy as, as we've been talking about when we remove compensation from our life, my goodness, yeah. things yeah. get that's right. a lot better. Yeah. All right. So there, there's concepts in the next two groups that we'll be that we've already sort of discussed a bit during this repentance and forgiveness series, obviously. Yeah. And this re repentance and forgiveness series of talks that we've recently done and almost completed with, uh, have actually been a part of your preparation for the next groups exactly. as well. So uh, we're doing everything in, in a bit of a sequential logical order to enable you to be ready for the material that <laughs> you're going to hear if you do come to those groups. Yeah. 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 All right, well, the third thing that we wanted to talk about today um, was just to give people a little bit of background about God's Way Limited, which is a, a not-for-profit organisation that was set up in 2016. So to give people a Oh, how much history do we want to give people? <laughs> it's a long story, isn't it? It's a long, um, a long story. Yeah, yeah, yeah a long was... story. It probably started in 2011. Yeah. Uh, or even before then, actually. Yeah. I discussed it with a lot of people. The timing wasn't right then. And then yeah. we did incorporate uh, God's way of love in 2011. And, and, you, and you did that. And I did all that. Yeah. And, but, but it was too much, uh, uh, too much responsibility and burden was placed upon myself to get everything done. And so we closed it down at the end of 2011. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, we've sort of just been waiting for a group of people who would demonstrate the right attitudes with yeah. regard to running such a thing as per, you know, what we envisage it running. 
yeah. as per the constitution we'd already written. Yeah. And uh, and those people came along in 2000 and what was it, 16? Probably even uh, earlier. Late 2016. They come along earlier, but um, what happened was that eventually they demonstrated their desires to do it and so forth. And and uh, and together they, uh, uh, yeah. with us, they re reincorporated God's yeah. Way Limited, yeah. um, and also purchased some the land at Kushni that would, was previously being purchased by others, yeah. uh, not by God's Way. Yeah. And now that land is an environmental centre owned by God's Way. Owned by God's Way. And uh, right. uh, thanks for the, to those people who put yes. the funds in to do that because yeah. we didn't have the funds to do that. No. Um, so now, and and God's way itself is run by members. So yeah. there are, there are at this stage you have to qualify as a member, mm -hmm. and it's a very strict qualification yeah, process. Yeah. Uh, obviously, because we want to have very sincere people being members yeah. in the organisation. I think at the moment, how many members do we have? I think there's nine. Eight or nine? Is nine. It? Nine. Nine members. And uh, obviously some directors. Uh, I'm a member, but I'm not a director. Mary's a director. I'm director. I'm and the, a member. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm a member and director. So um, so basically God's Way uh, Limited is set up um, by, it was set up by people, not me actually, uh, initially. We, you and I are kind of founding members, aren't we? In that we've been members from the beginning, but we didn't initiate the process And we wrote the, consti I wrote yeah. the constitution. You wrote the constitution, so, um, yeah. You know, obviously the the organisation's constitution uh, was based on our vision. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. But um, you and I are already pretty busy with with divine truth operations, mm -hmm. and God's way was really is really about um, using some divine truth uh, principles or all divine truth principles. You know what what we've been teaching, and putting that into practical application in like many different. Um, fields of endeavor you know science and environment and schooling and, and all kinds of whatever you can think of we every wanted, form of human endeavor every form of human endeavor that yeah. so to to apply um these teachings to practical settings and and one of the the big passions within the team uh, well i should just speak for myself myself you know, is to start to create um, scientific measurement for how that goes, how it goes, applying God's principles to practical things and to measure the, the impact of that. And mm. um, uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of gotten So there's underway. a lot of document pre pre uh, preparation, obviously. Yeah, which, huge amount. And there's a huge amount of resistance in most people to document pre preparations. <laughs> but, uh, it's yeah. been a long training process, obviously. Yeah, so even though you and I weren't really to be involved in uh, a lot of the operations Yeah, of I'm probably the most involved, yeah. and I still at the moment. You are, and um, uh, and I have so kind of become the managing director for a period of time just to help with the day-to-day -day operations mm. and help with a lot of that document preparation that, yeah. you know, a lot of people who are involved never been involved with that kind of yeah. thing. And so we're getting into that. Yeah. Um, and God's Way is also considering, and probably will go through the application for a charity, and that, yes. that has its own laws and regulations in Australia. Yeah. And that obviously all needs to be done pr properly. And uh, that's our goal in the long run, that we, yeah. we actually are involved. The God's Way organisation is, is a charity. Yeah. And, um, and also, uh, just recently, God's Way organisation, through the generous donation of the same people, yeah. uh, also bought a, another property yes. in, in Kushni, uh, which is still not settled at this stage. No, it's we're, not, it's we're still not, not really complete. Under contract, yeah. Under contract. But if it does go ahead, um, mm -hmm. that will become our learning centre yeah. and hopefully uh, also become where we run seminars yes. and, uh, and so forth. So Yeah, and, yeah. So, and, and we need to make sure there's a, a delineation between divine truth and God's way because that one exists. So, so when we say our learning centre, that's not... Our, not, it's not no, Jesus we, we don't own center. it or anything. Yeah. We don't own it. God's way will run it and operate it. And what we see in future is that Jesus and I will um, we'll just be providing like moral and ethical guidance and, and guidance to, to members and directors about how to run the organisation in harmony with the constitution that Jesus has created. Well, well in moment, harmony with the constitution, it's our, 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 it's our responsibility. Exactly. We've actually developed the constitution in such a way that it remains our responsibility while we're alive yeah. to ensure that God's way is run 
God's way. God's way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. But th- our hope, and I know uh, the big hope amongst the current board of directors is that, it, you know, God's way can develop enough and develop enough facilities that that God's way can actually accommodate some of divine truth operations like creating um, a, a function centre where divine truth assistance groups can occur and, mm. and things like that. So so that's um, something that we're working towards at the moment. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's a long process because it involves people, of course, and yes. people need to be educated God's way and, and yeah. then they need to sincerely embrace it before it can yeah. happen. So um, but, but there are lots of plans underway. Uh, soon you will start seeing the documents that yes. they've produced, so that would yeah. be lovely. Yeah. And then after that, you will start seeing videos they've produced because there's been lots of material recorded, yeah. but yeah. nothing produced at this stage it's, because we don't have the people, the personnel to produce the material um, and who are willing to do it our, you know, God's way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of people who want to do it their own way, but... Yeah. But people who do it are going to do it in the way that um, we've defined as, you know, the way it should be done. Yeah. Um, so, so you know, there's a lot of work to be done yet, but there's a lot of things that have been going on there too that have evolved our time and obviously a lot yeah. of my time. And there's also a lot of technical infrastructure that yes. have, has had to be set up. And so these generous people have also provided mm-hmm. um, computer systems that are able to store we, we've got uh, at the moment i'm just going through configuring a cluster of of servers that uh, enable us to store a uh, three or four way a three-way replication of 280 terabytes of data yeah. and back it up and uh, and this cluster in the end will uh, will be a part of the center's operations yeah for producing material and, and videos storing. and storing data and yep. every storing it until we get it up on, mm-hmm. on all of the different services we need to get it up on and then and then archiving it so that yeah. we've got an offline storage because because we've got far more than 280 terabytes of data yeah. we need to um at, you know at this stage i think i've got close to a, a pentabyte of data which is a thousand terabytes but and um, so we need to archive off a lot of our data yeah. in order to do the new things that we're doing. And, uh, and so this, provi- this uh, caused a, 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 it's a significant change. Uh, Divine Truth doesn't need to do that, whereas mm. God's Way needs to do that. Because yes. God's Way projects last a lot longer than Divine Truth projects. Our projects usually only last two, three months. Yeah. God's Way projects might last five years. Yeah. And I've got to store that data while the project is still live. Yeah, so just just to say that a different way, what happens, so basically what's going to happen for a period is that divine truth data and projects are going to be stored in the same area as God's way projects and data. So eventually it'll be split again, but just to help God's way get up and running, and we have to acknowledge And they'll you. use all of our defined processes. Exactly. All mm. the procedures that have been generated by... Templates and the everything. production, you know, your work with the production team, the transcription team, and all these things, God's Way now has the immense gift of being able to pick all that up mm. and use it in now, in use all those procedures to help us with these new projects. But yep. it's all a way of storing data and organising data that's been so invaluable. And you have guided us in the entire way as well as doing a lot of the physical work yeah. in terms of setting up this technology but um, back to the point you were saying earlier which is um, basically when you when divine truth produces something we usually keep it online mm. you, we have all the raw material all the footage is edited and made into an end, end video then all that raw mm. data is at, at the most the most we've ever had online at them at one time from divine truth is 64 terabytes yeah and the rest is all cold storage yeah. the, um, there's a big bulk of it happens when we do an assistance group doesn't it because there's so much raw of data yeah we get 32 terabytes so from yeah. the assistance group and the production of assistance groups so you know obviously a lot of it's that but um but the most we've ever had online is 64 whereas god's way is going to have like probably four or five times that amount online at any one time because we're going to do projects that run over periods of years and all of that time we want to keep the raw data easily accessible easily able to be edited so it means 
less archiving in the in the short to medium term. When, you, when you're dealing with those large amounts of data, yeah. archival can take months of, yeah. of time. And we've got it now in, we've put it all in a 10 gigabit network. So that now means that archival of, uh, you know, terabytes of data can take hours rather than days or, or, or weeks. Yeah. And so that's helped our workflow a lot yeah. at this stage. And we still haven't got it completely live because I'm still working on the cluster itself. Mm. But but once that is all alive, that's obviously going to improve our uh, copying and duplication and backup processes quite significantly yeah. by a factor of probably of 10, mm -hmm. um, which, which means that we'll be saving a lot more time. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to be saving a lot more time because we're actually uh, storing a lot more data yeah. <laughs> as well. So that, that, that yeah. uh, you know, obviously is going to help. Uh, if we did it using our prior processes, just to back up one uh, assistance group can take us week a week at a time yeah. or two weeks at a time and and in the end there's so many things that can go wrong during that space that you might finish up losing all your data so at least this way our data is more protected and if it wasn't for the generous donation of those people to do all of that well yeah. they didn't donate the money they just went and bought them equipment yeah. and uh and and donated the equipment and, and so now god's way and divine truth We'll be using the same structures, the same yeah. video sort of methods, the same uh, structures on this. So when it when it comes to training people, it's the same training yeah. and so forth. So that's going to make our life a lot easier than it has been in the past. <laughs> <laughs> so so in the past year, really, or even eighteen months, God's Way Limited has taken up a lot of your time technically and in terms of helping the board of directors make good decisions educating us about how to run a company, how to do accounting, like all kinds of things that you, you've you been a company director for quite some time and most, well, all of us are brand new at it. So we, we you know, we're learning a lot. Um, and so you've been kind of, uh, it's incredible, darling, what you do. And, I, and we, you know, all of us around you are in awe of how much <laughs> you actually get through and manage to produce, along with all the divine true stuff. Well, the trouble is I'm working a bit hard at the moment. It's, it's like hundreds it, of yeah, hundred hours a week tired, on the average. You? and. Uh, yeah. And I'm pretty tired, as yeah. you could probably see. <laughs> so um, I'm I'm looking forward to when the this uh, busy period sort of dies down a bit, yeah. and I can get back to my emotional work. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but it is essential work, and and I did know that at the end of the day, with all the technical side of things, that I would have to do it anyway, mm. because I was the only one who had those particular skills from my old computer yeah. days yeah. Um, to be able to set up those kind of things and or you know otherwise we'd have to go out and pay, pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to a person to set it all up yeah mm. yeah mm. so it's it's been a big a big gift of service that you've given and mm. both of us feel really uh, passionately about the purpose of god's way and that's that's helped yeah. us both contribute a lot of time to it because we really do believe in it yeah. um, um, but hopefully in years to come will be less involved in the day-to-day -day operations and more involved in, yeah. uh, you know, just the... And our, and our vision is that once uh, the one in Australia is set up and running properly, mm -hmm. um, obviously people around the world might want to set up a similar thing and uh, they can come and visit the one in Australia and, and for, for a long period, you know, because mm -hmm. they'll need a long period to understand everything that's going on. Yeah. Because uh, there are so many things going on. Like we, we've got, like even in the early days now, we've got like like tens of like different like there's now 30 or some 40 projects all concurrently yeah, running yeah. Uh, and only eight nine people nine members people. doing yeah. doing them which means <laughs> obviously everyone's very busy yeah but um you know and obviously there's a volunteer selection program well, that's running and that. other programs yeah. that are running as well to help uh, to help people understand what's going to be involved if they want to volunteer for god's way and so forth so these kind of programs uh, are taking a lot of time to develop. And as a result of that, we don't get to spend as much time developing material, uh, divine yeah. truth material that we like to get out there. Yeah. So if people be aware that all this other stuff's going on, that would yeah. be helpful. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully within a year or two, um, and who knows, we may also be a charity by yes. that stage, a proper charity, a yeah. registered charity. And uh, that will probably help things as well. Um, yeah. And uh, and and by then we'll have our structures down complete, our systems down complete, documentation very yeah. complete, 
and because the documentation is what takes the longest time. Like I document every technical thing I do because at some point I know that other people are going to have to come along and set up similar things. Yeah. And so, you know, obviously these kind of things take a long time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and, but from a, from a, you know, perspective of what's an observer, yeah. uh, it doesn't look like much is happening. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We should mention actually for anyone who does want to um, volunteer to assist divine truth operations or God's way operations, um that's another thing that we established in the last year um tristan and eloisa mm-hmm. are now running biannual volunteer selection program projects mm-hmm. with people who who wish to volunteer for either divine truth or god's way mm-hmm. you and i kind of mentored them through that development process of that project mm-hmm. and so now um and you can register at the end i'll give you the the god's way website so you can go and register your interest to attend if you do want to become a volunteer but it's it's a wonderful project that allows um allows us to quickly assess the sincerity mm-hmm. of people involved to actually give gifts rather than just to receive rather than to get them yeah because yeah. <laughs> obviously um You've been giving a lot of gifts for a lot of years now, and people kind of get used to, oh, that's the dynamic, I get things from Jesus. But yeah. uh, And a lot of people say that they would like to give, like to donate time to assist what we do. But in reality, um, when they're face-to-face, very often it becomes evident that they don't really want to give up that getting from Jesus. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and not only that, there's a lot of other issues too, isn't it? They don't want to be thorough, they don't yeah. want to be clean, they don't want to be... <laughs> You know, they're, they're, they're follow follow direction. Follow will really do things God's way. They yeah. don't want to do things God's way. They think their way is God's way. Yes. So, uh, but but they so in other words, they really think that they are God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's another subject in yeah. itself. But the you know we've had to develop the program for this reason. Yeah, uh, it's very hard to pass. Um, well, when I, I say very I hard, I don't to think pass, it's that hard to pass. Uh, there was only what two people who passed one uh, out of fifteen. Uh, Three people. Three people. No, two and a half, should we say? One <laughs> almost. <laughs> no, three people. Three people completed the program last time. Project. Three out of fifteen. Out of uh, no, out of out of sixteen. Out of sixteen. Yeah. yeah. So, so at this stage, the passing rate's about twenty percent. <laughs> so I'd say, uh, given that, it must be pretty hard to pass. <laughs> the reason why it might appear hard to pass is because it it does require sincere understanding about love, truth desire for it in your personal life, a desire to live it, Mm -hmm. a desire to give gifts, a desire to share. Uh, You know, there's so many things that the little program challenges over the period of... It assesses. It's an assessment period, basically. It's not not really a teaching program. It's an assessment program. This is the teaching that you and I do here in the studio. And then we assess in that project if if that teaching has been taken on. And and the the key is not that people have to be perfect in all of the qualities not that you all. just mentioned. Not at all. Just that they are sincerely desiring to learn God's way of doing. Yeah, but things. we find that for most people, their version of sincere and ours are very different. It's very true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, you know, do the program mm-hmm. if you're sincere. If you think believe you're sincere and you really want to help the world, do do the program. It, it's a volunteer program. Obviously, uh, it's free again. Yeah. Um, but obviously you're going to require quite a commitment from yourself if yeah. you're going to do it because obviously you're two day, one it's week it's two days and the next week it's one day and the next week it's two weeks. days for nine weeks here, and in, here in Australia. Yeah. Um, and, and it's in our location. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, you, it's no, no sort of, it, you get to see raw Australia at its, uh, <laughs> and uh, raw us as well. And raw <laughs> us uh, as well. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's a. I feel a very good program we've put together yes. collectively, yeah. and the guys Tristan and, and Eloisa are, are running it very well. Yeah. And uh, and and a, and and I like how effective it is. In fact, yeah. at determining who's going to be able to be a volunteer. And and I um, while we say it's not about giving a gift, I actually do feel that participation through participation, whether you pass or not you do receive a lot of gifts because Tris and Ello are really good at giving you the feedback of where you're at when it yeah. comes to love, when it yeah, comes to truth, when it comes in the, in to the service. Program. 
So it's it's a great way to to really know where you're at. Yeah, in if terms you're of, sincere, want to yeah. know where you're at, it's a yeah. great way to know where you're at. Yeah, I mean, that shouldn't be your purpose in doing it. No. But no. there is that. And that, that'll seem to be determined if that is your yeah. purpose. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, a lot of people have come with that purpose, you know, mm. to benefit personally and found that, you know, they've been removed from the program fairly yeah. quick. But uh, we don't tolerate any selfish behaviour in the program, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So, you know, that people who are selfish about things don't, don't last very long in the program. Mm. Yeah. But it's a very good program and it also helps us determine who can be a vol volunteer. Yeah. And to become a member of God's Way, you must first be a volunteer for six straight months. Yeah. Um, and, a, and, a, and a fairly like full-time volunteer, yeah. not a full-time volunteer, but a consistent volunteer. Consistent, sincere. And demonstrate sincerity yeah. and so forth. So, and, and a desire to live in harmony with the God's Way constitution and divine yeah. true teachings and all of those things. And it's a way of assessing that, a yeah. uh, way of assessing whether that's true or not. Yeah. And, uh, and so very few people make it through the program yeah. and become volunteers. But if you do, you have a very rewarding yeah. experience and also... Yeah. Uh, uh, have a very rewarding experience with the further education we give you, training we yeah. give you to do a lot of other things. Yeah. And so there's a lot of programs, like I said, going on, environmental programs, there's parent-children programs, yeah. and there, there's uh, technical programs going on. Um, you know, we've started many programs and finished uh, mm -hmm. some of them. And uh, and some of them are remarkable with the differences yeah. between the start and Yeah, finish. I'm excited to um, get some of this documentation up so that we can actually... Uh, people have something tangible to understand what we've been up to all yeah. this time. And we're putting designs of the programs mm -hmm. as well as the programs themselves and their results on the internet eventually. We, yeah, we'd like all the principles and the actions we've taken in harmony with the principles to be well documented so people can use it as inspiration for their own projects wherever they are mm. to say, oh, I'd like to experiment with this as well. Mm. It's worked for them under these circumstances. I'll try it under mine. And and if they want to share what they find doing that back with us, we'd happily share that again mm -hmm. on the website. That's right. It's just a, sort of like it can be a collective uh, sharing of um, wonderful of knowledge. Truthful information. Yeah. It has to be truthful information. Yeah. And so, so right at this moment, Mary and I are wearing our God's Way hat. Yeah, this I, is I'm God's Way. I'm a member Way. of Mary's director. Yeah. And, um, and so this is, a, this is not what divine truth is doing. What divine truth is doing, Mary and I are doing, because that uh, is uh, what is happening in divine truth. Mm -hmm. That's all about continuing a teaching program yeah. where we have so much information <laughs> to share with you still. Yeah. Uh, as I said, most of the information we've already shared is incomplete um, and we want to share more information, but uh, that requires Mary and my time yeah. uh, and development. So while we're... Our time is quite split at the moment between mm -hmm. all these God's Way operations that are getting up and running, a lot of training that we're giving to directors and members about the God's way of doing things. Yeah. And that, of course, is having an impact on how much time we can spend in Divine Truth divine developing truth. new material. But in the end, we do feel that both things are going to benefit everybody yes. a lot. You know, yeah. so um, we, We'd like to mentor the people in God's way so that they can get on and give gifts in that way while we get back to our business. Yes. Just before we get back to Divine Truth Business, I just quickly want to let everyone know. That oh, there's no need to be quick because I wasn't back at there at all. Oh, weren't you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just delineating the difference between, it's important. between Divine Truth Operations, which is uh, a, a company that we, Mary and I, specifically direct and own and and god's way operations which is a is a is a is a member-based company yeah. rather than having a owner yeah uh, so there's no owners there's a member-based company mm -hmm. uh where there's directors and members and the members vote in the board of directors and uh and that company we hope will live long past uh our wow. lifetime yeah um, but uh, as yet, I haven't migrated the domains, and yeah. that, that, the technical stuff's all my domain. So, um, the you know, unfortunately, I've got a long list of technical the, things. There's, there's, there's a, just a never there's around list. about yeah. seventy projects that yes. I've got on the ball at the same time yeah. at this stage, and um, obviously, I can't get all of them done. Uh, so I'm prioritising each one as to what the next most important thing is. Yeah. And uh, and once I get my way down the list a little, the yeah. name will change. <laughs> it will. <laughs> but there'll be, yeah, we'll do another update and you'll, you'll know about that anyway. Yeah. But if you do, very soon, as you mentioned, uh, we're going to be uploading some of the project summaries that we've done, uh, the um, annual report, the director's report, um, 
the, I think the Treasurer's report is already up there, but all of those things are going to be appearing hopefully in the next month or so. And can I just um, say with the website address and everything, if people just type in gosway.net over the next few weeks after they've seen this video, which might be a month away, it's pretty easy for us to point that address to the Discovery Learning Centre address. So, so, you know, even if they only remember that address, yeah. godsway.net, yeah. those will be pointed to the right locations Lovely. and they can pop up yeah. the material there. And once we migrate, we'll just do a pointer back the other direction. So yeah. you, you'll find us. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So um, hopefully, uh, like, as we said, there's a lot of in documentation and information that has been presented. Mm -hmm. Uh, or has been created, uh, yep. let's probably say, yeah. and it's quite complex information. Mm -hmm. There's uh, actually thousands of pages of information, yeah, yeah. but none of it has made its way yet <laughs> to the internet. Yeah. And so that that's our next phase of getting... Uh, Eloisa has been operation. wonderful in just writing some blog trying updates, trying to keep, trying things, to keep updated. things, to let the world know that yeah, yeah. what, what everyone's been on. doing, and she puts in a lot of hard work. She's another lady with a very long to-do list. Yeah. She blows me away as well. Um, it, it, but we, we really want to, to create like some really um, specific, well laid out, detailed data about each of the projects so that people can really use it as a resource. Yeah. And that's what we're aiming at with some of the documents we're creating. Yes. And so the, um, you know, in the end, we see the website being a site where there'll be a certain section for members, which mm -hmm. are all to do mostly to do with scheduling and, yeah. uh, you know, programs that members are involved with, uh, volunteer programs members are involved with. And then there's going to be a, sort of like a public face mm -hmm. as well, where, where, which will basically be all the, the information yeah. will be freely provided yeah. to the world there. So, so this way it allows for the, the members to communicate with each other seamlessly but also allows for everybody in the world to know what's going on. Yeah. And so that's our goal in, in the short to, to medium term. Yeah. And we've got to get our infrastructure right, obviously our technical infrastructure right first, which is something that I've been working on mm -hmm. uh, with a couple of others. And once uh, we get that technical infrastructure right, then a lot of these things people will see yeah. popping up, popping and, up. And, and regularly yeah. popping up yeah. after then. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, so all of that's taken up quite a lot of our time. and mm. But uh, as you mentioned, you know, we're, we're wanting to now get back into this regular routine of presenting stuff in the studio, hopefully um, getting those assistance groups, um, the two of them done next year mm. in 2018. And then I know that you and I would love to get back to doing some travelling even and, and talking with people and meeting people in person. Yeah, uh, it's highly unlikely we're going to be able to do that this year with the workload we have on our yeah. plate. But yeah. uh, um, after the groups are finished next year, yeah. um, there's a good likelihood we'll be able to do some travelling and, and, you know, maybe visit some people around different places of the world who can't get to Australia. Yeah, and uh, we'd love to do that. We'd love yeah. to do that, yeah. yeah. So um, we'll see how things go with that. And hopefully by then we've improved our condition a bit further and yeah. done our personal work. But obviously when things are so busy, it's very hard for me to do personal mm -hmm. work, which is one of the shortcomings of doing mm -hmm. all of this. Uh, but I'm hopeful that uh, soon I can start backing, uh, you know, I've already started backing off so that I get, you know, a few days at least every fortnight where I've got some time to myself. But um, I'm hoping to make it, put it back at seven or eight days a fortnight where I've got to myself. And, uh, and in amongst that, we should be able to still get some things done and, yeah. and get the entire operations up and running. Yeah. We also got a lot of very interesting experiments happening, yeah, uh, environmental yeah. experiments, construction materials experiments and so forth, uh, you know, all, all these different particular things going on. Yeah. And so it's a very interesting uh, time, isn't it? Like, very, it's just like lots very, of like, fascinating things yeah. going on. But, and, and, you know, we've done things like designs for buildings and all these kind of yeah. things. Uh, that's part of my, like, I enjoy doing stuff you, like that too. You're passionate about that, aren't you? Yeah, and, so we've got 30 or 40 designs for buildings and whatever else. Yeah. And, 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 you know, eventually... I don't think we'll build them all, but it just, they're just... No, we'll, like ideas, but at some point we'll whack them all on the net as well yeah. and people can have a look at them. Yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, there's a whole heap of different uh, things that we've done to, to try to get the whole thing underway and moving along. Yeah. And, and, again, I'd like to say thank you to those people who put 
put their life behind it because yeah. uh, most of our members are putting their whole life behind it. Uh, you know, they're, they're engaged in it yeah, every, every, every day, yeah. uh, most of them. Yeah. And uh, many of them have put significant amounts of their funds behind it as well. So, yeah. Yeah, so I find them inspirational people. Mm. Mm. And uh, and in fact, without their funds, even the new centre wouldn't even be able to be put not, in, not under contract. Yeah. And the new centre is just a lovely little piece of land that uh, is only a few kilometres away from our current environment centre and uh, and also has a lot of scope for being a function centre. So yeah. more scope than the environment centre does. So. Yeah. So this has meant that we could uh, re-design um, yeah. what we want in a function centre. Yeah. And that's been really, yeah. it's really, really interesting going through with the directors. What do you want? You know, like, <laughs> what do you think you're going to need in five years' time or ten it's, years' time? It's been wonderful, hasn't it? And, and we mm. do have lots of ideas about... Um, you know, demonstrating different ways that you can grow food in harmony with God's way on that centre and ha setting up some volunteer accommodation so people can come and learn those methods and all kinds of things, as well as having a centre where we can present material. Uh, I, and, I, you know, one day I see it as a visitor centre where people just from the public can enter and, like, learn all about doing things God's way in all different variety of ways. And mm -hmm. there's just so many potentials. We just have to... Keep, as you keep saying to us, just keep taking the next step towards that big vision that we have because yeah. sometimes it seems like we I, have... I call it plotting. You, yeah, you, you just say, <laughs> keep plotting, you guys, because, uh, mm. you know, we all have different emotions come up where we feel, like, inadequate or we feel like, how are we ever going to get there? You know, we've only got this 24 hours in a day and there's so much that we want to do. And, yeah. Yeah. And, and the key is to do it all still loving yourself and caring for yourself too. So that's something that I, you know, need to do more of. And, you do, yeah. And so, you know, that's why we're sort of backing uh, backing off a little bit and just plodding along rather than trying to do everything <laughs> at 100 miles an hour. Mm. But, uh, yeah, the, the net result is that we're very shortly going to have a system, uh, uh, technical systems in place that allow us to do these things more rapidly. Mm and with it with ease and also to assist that will assist us with ease of training our mm -hmm. volunteers so every volunteer gets trained yeah. um and uh and while volunteers may have a specialized area of interest mm -hmm. every volunteer also gets trained in everything yeah they get some exposure to everything yeah so what that means is that we become interchangeable yeah and that's going to be very good if we want yeah. to output material and so forth mm -hmm. And, and sooner we, or later, I want somebody come along. He's going to be a <laughs> network engineer for me and uh, and get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, just get rid of all that technical stuff that you, is really, it's, it forms a, like a massive part of your workload now. Like a yeah. lot of us around you feel like your brilliance is in the teaching and, and we'll, you know, there's a desire for you to have time you know, to focus on your progress and, mm. and, and your relationship with God. And, and um, you know, a lot of these things have been taking up your time. And, and, yeah. and a lot of us are also looking at how, you know, how our attitudes towards you uh, contribute to that. You know, there's, mm. there's, there is a large expectation amongst um, people in general that when someone is given to giving, <laughs> that uh, unless we really develop our own desire to love, we can just become takers and, mm. and not take responsibility to become self-responsible in our relationship with God and also to develop our love of others and how we can give to other people. And mm. that's something that all of us in God's way are, are looking at sincerely because mm. uh, obviously you know how to do a lot of things. You, you understand God's principles. Uh, y your development enables you to, to see things that a lot of us don't see to, and your hard work means that you do a lot of the hard tasks your, your willingness to engage with things and not be put off because it scares you or you know it's difficult or you know it's it's tedious or or mundane means that a lot of uh, other people the rest of us who who might avoid tasks based on those things you're often picking up the slack and mm. that's something that we're all looking at now and mm. saying no, that's not good enough. <laughs> How can we look at that better? Yeah, it would probably be more fair to say I'm challenging you on those issues. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah. And, and yeah. All, all the members were, are going to be challenged for some time, obviously, because yeah. it, it, there is a bit of a learning curve about 
you know, to soul-based learning about how to do things God's way is a lot different than just intellectually hearing a whole heap of material and thinking that you're doing it. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, the, there's the difference between sincerity, mm -hmm. true sincerity, and people who just think they're sincere. Yeah. And uh, and and this is a, also a good mechanism to determine that. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I, I'm very enthusiastic about it, as people would be able to tell, yeah. and always have been. But mm. um, obviously, I'm also enthusiastic about what we do in Divine Truth as well. So, so um, and I'm also uh, enthusiastic about my own progress. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, at some point, I've got to put my focus back on to the, those areas. But... Uh, what I find is a lot of people who come to help us who think they're going to be able to help us very quickly find out that there's so much to learn and there's so many challenges and there's so much of their own worth that's involved in being yeah. told no, yeah. that's not right, yeah. uh, that most people get so challenged that they can't cope with the challenge. Yeah. Um, and that's, uh, that's unfortunate because there's also a lot of joy that you can get by actually learning how to do things God's way mm -hmm. and doing it. And so um, initial days are going to be hard yep. uh, for most people. But, but once they get there, once they get through those initial days, for most people, I think they're going to enjoy the process. Yeah. 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 Mm. All right. Well, that's a bit about us. <laughs> And well, it's not, not really about us. It's about, it's what, we're, about, yeah, yeah. It's about what we're doing. <laughs> we're no. very bad at talking about us, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's about what we've been doing. And, and, yeah. and it's also the reason, I suppose, why there hasn't been a lot of material coming from us up until September, October last year. Mm. Um, well, that. I think even how long was it before we even got that stuff on the Internet? That was I only just got while. it up in November or December. So, yeah. you know, uh, um, yeah, it seemingly, you know, obviously we began it in September or something, mm. but or August, I think it or was. It might have even been July. Yeah, Yeah, I yeah. can't remember now. It might July, have been July. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it August. Was. Yeah. August. Huh? August onwards. Yeah. So, but, but we didn't get it up till November or so. We had a lot of uh, teething issues yeah. with regard to processes that yeah. we needed to sort out. So yeah. we sorted all that out while we were doing the material. Mm -hmm. And that's been real helpful. So, so now we've got a nice process together, seamless, pretty mm -hmm. uh, easy to follow process. And, uh, and now I've got to get the technicals behind the scenes all sorted yeah. to enable us to actually properly store all that material yeah. and then uh, once that's done we're up and running so that would be good I'm looking forward to that day <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to putting my head back for at least a day or two <laughs> yep. okay well it's pretty good what I've done there <laughs> <laughs> as, I like, as well you should uh, you know I think that you you approach each task so, so when I say what diligent. I've done like you know obviously like we what we're saying a lot of it's not possible without the generous people who provided the funds to do it you know, yeah. like obviously we don't have the funds to do this kind of infrastructure and uh you know i think the system the systems itself in the end have costed close to two hundred thousand yeah. dollars and um you know that's a lot of infrastructure yeah. to put together and um you know you know without the assistance of people that have been generous you know that wouldn't have been possible yeah and uh and so God's way, which is uh, different to divine truth, mm. divine truth um, is just myself, Mary, and a team of people who help us uh, getting material out, really, yeah. and doing seminars and so forth. But God's way is going to be, is an organisation which is going to own land, yeah. uh, own what you would cl class as learning centres or, mm -hmm. or, or a tra training centres mm -hmm. or environment centres, and those centres will be run uh, in harmony with the constitution of God's way, mm -hmm. which will also be uh, on the internet for people to download. It already is. It already at is. That web, at that web address. Yep. We so, gave. so if people yep. want to see the constitution and read the constitution, mm -hmm. they'll see how it's been developed and what the goal yep. is. And and there will be also a business plan appearing there soon. Yep. Which, over the next few months. In which you'll see the the business side of the business plan is quite yep. unique. Yeah. Yep. And it's a it's a like at this stage, there's no other organisation in the world that is run like it. So it's going to be very interesting to mm -hmm. see, um, you know, how, how we go. Yeah. It's an experiment, like yep. all experiments. We don't know how it's going to uh, outcome. Turn out. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is great, I feel, that it started again and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and started in a more sincere 
um, more in alignment with the way you know God God would, would like to see it like done. Would like to see it done. Yeah. And and in the end, that God would like to see every organisation run. I yeah. feel. So yeah, we're looking forward to seeing what happens there and yeah. enjoying the outcome of that. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. As Mary also said uh, um, to you, and um, we were hoping that we'd be able to have some seminars at, yeah. you know, weren't we? Um, yeah. We were. Hoping to have some seminars at these uh, at at, a, at our centre, yeah. and but you know there's so much work to do there. It's like, <laughs> before that happens, I, I don't think it would be anywhere in the next uh, year or two. We, we'll see about how how organised we get, but mm. obviously, like everything, um, we want to do it really thoroughly and well. The construction. And then we want to make sure the technical components are there to enable it to be recorded and the sound to be really good. And so it's it's yeah. not just a matter of whacking up a shed or something, no. you know. It's, and, it's, and God's way is also running by gifts and donations. That's, so, that's so right. It's, we, and, and we don't have the funds without gifts and donations mm. to get things done. Yeah. So, so obviously that's going to have also, uh, you know, that's going to uh, depend, uh, depend, depend on... Uh, a lot of people assisting there yeah. to to get some of the things that we sort of have as ideas yep. into practical reality. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything else we want to um, update people on? I think that gives them a bit of an idea of what we've been occupying ourselves with. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt whether they want to know whether you and I had a hair cover or anything like that. Uh, it's I think pretty it's obvious, obvious I had. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's pretty gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you'll be seeing a lot more of the short-haired Jesus than the long-haired one, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know to the disappointment of some of you. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm finding it much easier to work outside when it's like this. Yeah, it was, it was getting annoying, wasn't it, while yeah. you're doing all this technical work? But... Yeah, all, all my hair was dropping down in the machines. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> into the computers and, yeah. and storage units. Yeah, so, yeah. So yes, we. I, I feel it's worth saying though that um, you know the way the way we see it is that to make true growth on the planet, things have to be done in a sincere mm -hmm. and um, transparent uh, manner, and you know it's very it, it's an unusual thing for people to have that goal mm -hmm. to be sincere and transparent in everything they do, mm -hmm. and to ensure that that is actually going to happen. And, and so, you know, the reality is God's way as an organisation, the organisation God's way, um, of which we are members, yeah. um, may take time to get established and mm -hmm. to have its dreams realised. Yeah. But um, that's going to depend upon, a, a lot upon the sincere desire of individuals mm. um, and and that I feel is the important thing that what we're trying to do in Divine Truth is help each individual become a sincere individual, individual. with desires. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think that each of the members has enough experience with um, Divine Truth teachings to know that unless we do the actual personal work to develop ourselves in love, yeah. then we won't actually have the capacity to develop into God's way the organisation or into just living and loving God's way. And so mm. um, I don't feel any of us are, are like putting an immense amount of pressure on ourselves to achieve the goals because we understand that it, it will crash and burn unless we do the pro do things the proper way. And do the emotional work and the work yeah. with God and desiring yeah. God's love that needs yeah. to be done. The, the other thing, these are the things that I mentioned that I think shortly or sometime over the next few months, uh, there'll be some videos up about our AGM, yeah. the, the uh, God's Way AGM, the annual general, annual general meeting. meeting. And during that, I gave a talk to the group about, you know, developing these four fundamental desires, which I've been talking about with the volunteer selection programs mm -hmm. and also with the God's Way directors and also with the members. And um, just developing these fundamental core desires so that um, so that God's way is an organisation that actually is God's way, yeah. not not human's way labelled yeah. as God's way. Yeah. And uh, and as we discussed, um, 
all every member has a personal responsibility mm -hmm. to to actually embrace God's way and and to do this in a sincere manner. And while there's not pressure on each person to do that, at the end of the day, if you're not sincere doing it, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Right. So and we only want to have sincere members because yeah. obviously any person who's not sincere is just uh, is just uh, like going to cause problems mm -hmm. for the organization well, itself. and it, it's not just a matter of um that's not just a matter of supposition we know there's actual specific laws they're going to try and expose the error within the individual and that any individual who joins an organization then ha creates an attraction for the organization that's right and god's laws are going to be trying to expose the error so it is not just a, it's it, it's a, it's a scientific fact yeah. <laughs> that we all have to, to embrace God's way for God's way to work. That's right. Yeah. And so, and so you know, that's been our focus too, helping yeah. uh, the individual people involved to really understand what it means to practice things God's way in every way, every aspect of their life. And, and in every what, decision we make and, and, and yeah. in the way we approach projects. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Yeah, like I can't, but challenging. Very challenging because every day there's a there's another <laughs> thing exposed. <laughs> That's right. You just got to get used to that. So, like, unless you love getting exposed every day with something new, it's not not going to be very enjoyable for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but I know that all of the members would like me to take the opportunity again, which I did at the AGM, just to acknowledge everything that you, that you've done, darling, in mm, in helping thanks. us get established. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's a I've lot. Been, yeah. I've enjoyed it, but it has been uh, hard work too. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. need to back off on a bit on the hard work, but yeah. Um, I, I, what I'm enjoying is seeing like the results of a lot of it starting to come out now. Mm -hmm. You know, like because mm -hmm. it's now getting near the end of my technical, my intense technical period. I should yeah. say, you know, yeah. I'm hoping. You know, obviously, I have to continue with the technical side of development because there's no one skilled enough yet to do everything technically. Mm -hmm. But, um, but it's good to see a lot of the things getting up and running and and so forth as well. I feel mm. so. That's what we've been doing. That is, and and it's been very busy, as people can imagine, from what we've been doing. Yeah. And as I said, there's been thousands of pages of information now developed, and like hundreds of hours of video has been mm -hmm. taken and so forth, and it's just um it's, a, it's now a matter of trying to develop get that information to people yeah. so that they can benefit from yeah. it mm. yeah so mm. that's our next phase of working in god's way and in divine truth we'll be still working on um those projects we spoke about at the beginning yeah um, so we, we'll sort of be a bit slower in doing that in divine truth for a while yet um you know where there'll be less information coming from the divine truth sources mm -hmm until such a time as we feel God's way is up and sorted out with a lot yeah. of its processes. And then one that, once that's happening, then, then you might see a bit more information from us. So some of the projects we mentioned in 2016, we haven't actually begun yeah. because you know, in particular, the Fundamental Truths Project, which, yeah. is, a, which is a project that um, I really want to do yeah. um, because of all of these other, other pressing concerns. Yeah, mm. yeah, and we, you know, we just have to, um, you regain a bit of balance, don't we? Because God's way is sort of dominated um, mm, some mm. of our stuff, and and some of those procedures and the, the, all the infrastructure stuff that needed to change in it's divine all necessary. truth. It's all necessary, but and a lot of um, it also has assisted divine truth operations because yeah. we, we've refined divine truth operations mm -hmm. and then applied them to God's way yeah. to make sure it's going to work for that organisation yeah. too. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and we'll benefit from the store, data storage uh, yeah. in some ways as well. So yeah. it's 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 all part of it, but. But we want to get back to um, focusing, as you said, it's mainly for yourself on personal progression, isn't it? Because mm, yeah. that's yeah, no, that's uh, close to my heart to keep, to keep going on that, and yeah. uh, and not have you know doing a lot of technical work requires a lot of thinking mm -hmm. time, and as I said, I'm working on the average from about four in the morning to around five in the afternoon yeah. every day uh, to get things done. So. You know, it's it's quite long days. You know, twelve or thirteen hour days usually mm -hmm. um, to get a lot of the work done. And that you know, while because you're thinking all the time, it's not one thing I like about doing work outside is I can feel my emotional stuff while I'm working. Yeah. Whereas when I'm inside with doing the technology, it's a lot more difficult because your yeah. mind has to be totally engaged in what you're doing. 
and it's been a long, uh, large learning curve for me. I, you know, I left uh, the computer industry, what, 14, uh, well, 2004, so 14 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I had a lot of catch up to do uh, with the technology too. I, I was joking with you at dinner the other night that you, you're just about ready to re-enter the workforce. You just upgraded <laughs> all of your skills. Yeah, I'm pretty up to date now. I mean, yeah. In fact, I'm probably leading edge now <laughs> with a lot of things uh, that I, uh, were, you know, when I, when I left the industry, I was, but. Um, then you didn't really keep up to date. Not at all, no. <laughs> you just had a very, you know, uh, intense period where you've basically updated all of your skills and knowledge and in in a vast variety of uh new fields too yeah yeah, new fields and Mm. i don't know i want to call it modalities that's not what you call it in technology is it but you know different yeah and i think that's going to be helpful in the future though because you know when we when uh, now i i know how to train the people who are going to replace me whereas uh and what kind of skills they're going to need Mm. um and you know it's hard some of the skills are pretty hard to gather um and understand even sometimes Mm -hmm. so it's going to require some pretty unique individuals really people who love that but who also love doing their soul work yeah and and i haven't found any yet who Mm -hmm. love the technology and are able to understand all the hot you know technical concepts that you know of of engineering Mm -hmm. while at the same time love their soul work and are sincere about their soul work yeah so when I find you guys out there, or girls out there, <laughs> or girl. um, I'll look forward to seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we better leave it there. No worries. Um, yeah. Yeah. Probably just like to thank our viewers again for their donations. You can see we've been doing a fair bit with them. Yeah. And, uh, and also thank those people who have been especially like, donated large amounts of funds for us to get something like purchase another property in well, that's God's, way. God's way. That's not our no. property, but... Uh, for God's way to be able to purchase a property and for God's way to be able to get a computer system and yeah. things like that. And that's all been happening behind the scenes without any of you really knowing about yeah. it. So they've, they've found out on their own back, mm-hmm. you know, about it and put forward uh, this effort and funds on their own back towards yeah. that. And so, you know, they're pretty special people and we'd like to thank you for yeah, doing that. Definitely. And, and, um, and But others of you have just donated towards Divine Truth. You've assisted us just to do all of those upgrades in our pers- in our um, procedures for Divine Truth. Mm-hmm. And you're also assisting us not only to, to live, you and I, but also mm-hmm. now we're able to pass on some of your donations to the team that assists us. Mm-hmm. And we really appreciate that, you know. Yeah, we want, we're, we're trying to help each member of the team to become completely self-sufficient so they don't have to receive donations um, because then... From us. From us. Yeah. And then we can then use those donations to do other things yeah. that we still would like to see done yeah. uh, as well. So, but, but initially there's this phase of time when people haven't worked through their money issues and they haven't worked through why it is that they're not receiving donations and so forth haven't worked through their uh, ethics about working for money yeah. uh, and any of those things. And so we're encouraging them to do that while at the same time, once they get through all of that, then they'll be self-sufficient and then we'll yeah. be able to help a new team of people to yeah. do that. So that'll yeah. be good. We're good. And uh, eventually we hope to have a fairly large team of people, some of whom can travel with us. Mm-hmm. And so that would mean that everywhere we go in the world, um, we'd have a little team who sets up the venue, sets up the recording, sets up the video recording, does all the video recording. Mary and I can rock up at the place, do our talking, prepare for the actual talking and have it all nicely recorded so everyone in the world can benefit from every event event that we do. At the moment, there's still a lot of events that we do that don't get recorded. And there's still a lot of things we do that don't get recorded mm-hmm. that would benefit people. Yep. And, uh, and that's something we hope to change down the yep. track as well. So, yep. so these are all just goals that we have to get that in place. Yes. And it may take many years yet to get those things in place. But we thought we'd explain to you, mm-hmm. our, our viewers, um, what's going on so that they understand what our goals are. And that's not a complete discussion of our goals, by the no. way. No. <laughs> Goals that are larger than that, but we won't get into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometime soon we might interview. I might interview you just about your personal progress and about your long-term goals because I think people would be interested in that. Yeah, 
yeah. 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 And there's a lot of other little programs in God's Way, isn't there, that I think a lot of people would be interested yeah. in too. So. Yeah, and I might do some interviews of our project managers and mm. just to help people have a little taste of what it's all about. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, thanks, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see you later.